Okay, this is my notice of increase in rent from $1,000 to $1,100. $1,100 per month, okay? Now I am 71 years old on a fixed income. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran, and I can't afford anymore. I moved in here, it was only $850 a month a few years ago. And I paid my rent every month on time, never any trouble. So um, I'm going to call him now and tell him that I cannot afford this. And I'm going to carry this all the way through. So I'm about to call Ron Johnson right now, the landlord, and tell him that I cannot afford this and we'll see what happens. Now, but if you please leave your name, your number, and a brief message, I will return your phone call as soon as possible. Thank you and have a great day. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Yeah, Ron, that's real sweet with the uh, have a great day. I'm sure you don't mean it. Anyway, I'm calling in reference to the letter that you left. You know, I am a senior citizen on a fixed income. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran. You only gave one month notice on this. This is very unfair. Give me a call back and, let, and to let you know that this is very unfair. You know, Ron, I have to say that I can't afford it. And I don't know what to do. You only gave uh, one month's notice. Uh, I have nowhere to go. I can't afford 1100 I have to give up food and things. So I don't know what to tell you. I was always paid my rent on time. I never, I never, uh, yeah, you sure. Uh, I never uh, had any trouble here or anything. And here you are, uh, one, you know, and next year it's going to be 1200 then 13 then 14 then 16 then 2500 You know, you see, normally, uh, from what I understand, landlords, you know, if you want to raise it, you raise it to new people. There's going to be a big turnover here. Don't worry about it. It's going to be a big turnover. So you raise it to the new people. But here I am, I've been a loyal tenant for all these years, I'm 71 years old and a U.S. Navy veteran. I'm going to have to get in touch with all these veterans group and everything to see how they can help me with lawyers and stuff like that, you know, because I can't afford it. Okay. I mean, I don't know what to say, John. I mean, I think I'm well, still well below the the market value of what's out there for rents in Burbank and everything. Yeah, but this is a bubble. You know that. This is a bubble. As soon as after the first of the year, when the Fed raises rents, the, the, uh, the, you better sell out now, too, because uh, uh, real estate's going to go fall through the bottom. You understand? Well, that's your opinion and all that stuff. Okay, but, but all I'm that. saying, see, I don't know what to do. I don't, I can't afford it. So what am I supposed to do? You only gave one month's notice. I mean, and now I, I, I just paid the rent. I'm more, if you, within, I'm more within my right to do that. I, I understand. I didn't, exceed, I didn't exceed 10%. I'm right at 10%. Uh, it was, uh, you, you raised it at that, but you raised it from 900 to 1,000, which is over 10%. Right. No. Oh, so that was illegal. That raise that, was illegal when then. I did that, when I did that, I gave you guys 60 days notice, which I know that that's legal to do that as long as I get 60 days, because I did exceed 10%. All right, listen, this I understand. This time I'm not exceeding 10%. It's right at 10%. Okay. So. I'm just saying, I'm just saying 10% the next year. Yeah, well, see, you, you, you just proved my point. You're going to continually raise rents. And well, so what am I supposed to do as a U.S. Navy veteran and, and, and a 71-year-old senior to be thrown out into the street? John, I understand that. I have expenses, too, that keep going up and going up. I, I can't keep incurring them. I'm still below market value for in Burbank for where it's at and everything. I think I'm being more than fair. If you don't, I'm sorry you feel that way. But, you know, that's what it's going to be. Well, okay. I, I, I'm just saying that I think it's very unfair, and I'm going to uh, look through any kind of resources that I can find through veterans groups and everything to encourage people not to rent here. 
Um, okay. You know, and and the thing is, the thing is, yeah. Well, the thing is, the thing is, you say, you say, I'm 71 years old, so I don't really care. So I'm going to take this to the limit. Now, how long is it before they can throw you out when you don't pay your rent? In Burbank? Yeah. Three days. Or uh, three days with a notice. Yes. But then you have to go to court, right? No. So, in other words, after three days, the sheriffs can come here and throw me out? Yes. Okay, good, good. I'm glad you told me I that. Mean, so this is what we are in America now, do. see? I'm very glad. Not, I'm not telling you to do all this. You know, I can't afford it. So what? what's the solution? What am I supposed to do? I can't afford a lot of things. You know, if you would have said a month ago, I wouldn't have paid the thousand dollars right now for the fucking rent. You know? What am I going to do now? You know, I, I, I just have a barely enough money at the end of the month to pay the rent and to pay other bills and everything like that. And now you stick me with this. And now I, I just gave you a thousand dollars. I mean, okay. what? That's not right. See, you are you a Christian? What are you, a Christian? You a Muslim? What are you, an atheist? Okay. I mean, now you want to just get personal about it. Well, I'm just wondering how, like, um, how you could do this to somebody like me. You know, basically, you're not supposed to raise the rent for 4%. You're supposed to raise a legitimate uh, landlord. I know it's within your rights. Burbank is very weird, but I'm going to test the system. I'm going to test the system. But the thing is, though, uh, uh, legitimately, you're supposed to raise the rent according to the, to, to the cost of living. And the cost of living is zero, according to the federal government. Well, uh, that's nice. I'm glad they're saying it's zero, but it's not. I know it's not. Lying. See, this is the problem. They they're lying to us. The government is lying to us. John, I mean... It's just, that's the way it is. And like I said, I think I'm being still more than fair. I mean, those You're being fair. Are You're things certainly things working things within the law. You know, years. in Nazi Germany, it was within the law to throw the Jews in the oven. That was fair. That was legal. Um, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and you can rant this is morally, morally wrong to do this to me after I've been a good tenant for all of these years. That's the way you feel, okay? I'm sorry you're in the situation you're in. I didn't put you in this situation. No, you did. You're raising the rent. What are you talking about? I've been a good tenant. Normally, people just raise the rent on the new tenants. You want to go by what you can grab, get the new tenants. But why do we have to suffer every time somebody leaves this place? Why do we have to pay the damage? You're not suffering. What do you mean I'm at suffering? You're raising the rent. That's suffering. If you thought it was too expensive or whatever before, I'm not holding you hostage, Jerry. No, but you gave one month's notice. You only gave one month's notice. I don't have time to look around. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to exercise whatever resources that I can find. Because this is not right what's being done to the people of this country. This is why Trump is being elected. Because people are fed up with this. What do you think, you let the whole borders in, let everybody in here, and they're staying 20 in an apartment? We can't even share an apartment here? We can't have an animal? We can't have a dog or a cat? What, are you kidding me? Well, hey, John, that's the contract I had with you. You agreed upon it. I agreed upon it at $850 a month. And this is what I was told, this is what I was told that the landlord of this property didn't raise the rent that much. No, it was a bargain when you moved in, knowing the area. No, I don't think it was, yeah, no, well, let me just say, the thing, the reason I moved in here at 850 at that time is because Frank had told me that uh, the, he lived here 20 years and they, they never raised the rent hardly at all. So I figured, oh, all right, 850, you know, uh, okay, you know, I could have shared an apartment in Santa Monica, which is a much better place to live for like 750. But I figured I came here and I didn't think you'd be raising the rent every year like you are. Well... And that's my prerogative. And I guess you'll kick Frank out, too, who's been here over 20 years. What do you care? Okay. But let me tell you something. Look, God is watching. Okay. God is watching. And God's watching me take care of my 92-year-old mother. Yeah. And have to move in with me. 
and I've had to incur expenses on top of everything else that's going up for me, which is none of your business and no reason, and it's not why I'm raising the rent. I'm raising the rent because the state... Because you can. And, no, I'm raising it because I'm well within my right to. I'm well within what market is going to. I'm not inflating it by any bit. You could go around anywhere in Burbank in the same area for what you have, and what you're paying, yeah. you're going to be paying more than that. Yeah, well, get ready for the crash. Get ready for the crash and get ready to start renting to illegal immigrants because nobody's going to be living here. This is ridiculous. Okay. People are leaving California because this is a crap hole, the way they treat the people here. Uh, this is ridiculous, the way they're raising the rents here. 10% uh, a year, 20% a year, uh, throwing people out into the street. There's more homeless in Los Angeles now than ever before. And the government doesn't care just as long as they get elected. And of course, yeah, yo, you landlord, you're making out on this now. Yeah, sure. But the price will come. Sure the the day will I come when this, when, the, when this whole yeah. bubble crashes you here. what you want. You know, it is what I'm sorry you feel this way, you know, but um, I have to do it, you know. There's no if, answer, but. Okay. I have to. All right. All right. Let's see what happens. Goodbye.